Well, 33 hectic rock and roll years after he burst onto the international music scene with that gigantic hit, Bat Out of Hell, Meatloaf, or whatever his name really is, is clearly in no mood to slow down. In fact, he's just announced he's coming back to tour this country and will also sing at this year's AFL Grand Final. Emma Dallymore reports. All right, me. This is Aussie a, rules. This is an Aussie rules football, and the correct way to pass it, believe it or not, is that. All right, okay. I'm glad you know. It's a good thing he does. First of all, the news is out. You're heading back to Australia. I am. Yeah, and it's been, and it's an incredible show. And I, we have a new album, which that's what we're doing. We're we're mixing right now. This is a much more personal record uh, for me. Um, it, it really goes about how, a lot of about how I feel about myself and about how I feel about the world. And how I feel about the world is the world's gone to hell in a handbasket. That is the album title, back to that rock and roll sound and happy to confront his own demons. You mother you look at me all the way. You no, in the me. hospital in about four minutes. Me, hold on, hold on, me, me, me. Because it was like one of the most embarrassing moments of my entire life. And so the opening whole first verse is that whole song. I flipped it around to be about that and how I felt about that. It might not be the 70s anymore, but Meatloaf still doesn't take any crap. Oh, no, I never did. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, never will, right? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Really, you don't, you know, you really don't want to deal with me. You have no idea. At 64, Meatloaf still goes like a bat out of hell. He's planning eight concerts in Australia where he'll release the new album and take the stage at the AFL Grand Final. Oh, I watch Aussie Rules. I, I, I said I would go as long as I didn't have to wear those shorts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, probably also you got to be running. These days, there's just one person he runs around for, his newborn grandson, Revel Young. I said, where did the Young come from? And they went, Angus. How did that sit with you? Fine. OK, <laughs> here, you ready for this one? Yeah. Baby, they get in the car, right? Now, you figure the odds on this. They get in the car at Cedar sinai down in Beverly Hills, get out of the parking lot, turn on the radio, and the first song that comes on the air that the baby hears is Bad Out of Hell. Get out. True story. So Angus me. Young can go shove it. <laughs> that was 1977 when Meat, as his mates call him, struggled to deal with the fame. I had a nervous breakdown from Bad Out of Hell because of uh, becoming a celebrity. I had to go to therapy. I went to therapy every day for almost a year because I'm not built to be that. 33 years later, Sony Australia says Bat Out of Hell remains their number one selling international album. It used to be number one in Australia and then I heard uh, some kid named Farnham beat me out. <laughs> and so I'm going to have to go after him when Bloody I come fun. over there. Well, yeah, he's, he's going back on tour too. Maybe you could meet up with him. Yeah, I'm on. I'm, I'm plugging. <laughs> no, I'm you, just can, you can take him down. <laughs> yeah, take him down. Get the rage out, John, you don't want to fool with me, son. Note to Mr Farnham, Meatloaf arrives in October. The tour called Guilty Pleasure. What's yours? My Guilty Pleasure? Uh, Got to be... Got to be crackers. <laughs> crackers? I, I, you have no idea. I absolutely, all kinds of anything crunchy. Not quite sex, drugs, and rock and roll, but he's pumped nonetheless. For my fans in Australia, yo, dude! <laughs> in case you've ever wondered, Meat's real name is Marvin. Doesn't have uh, quite the same ring to it, does it? <laughs>